Achieving the perfect coffee comes down to two important factors, freshly roasted beans and optimal grind size. Let us show you how each of the grinding functions work on the Dose Control Pro. In just five simple steps, we'll show you how to prepare your Sage Dose Control Pro to grind beans for espresso coffee. We'll use a single wall filter basket when grinding fresh coffee beans with the finer settings ranging from one to 25. This helps to maximize the flavors in your brew. Make sure you insert the right portafilter cradle size before inserting your portafilter into the cradle. The Dose Control Pro comes with two cradle sizes, 50 to 54 millimeters and 58 millimeters. We'll use the 58 millimeter. Once your portafilter is set in position, adjust the grind time dial for the amount of ground coffee you need. Keep in mind that depending on your brew method, in this case espresso, the dose of ground coffee dispensed will vary. By increasing the time, you'll increase the dose, and decreasing time will reduce your dose. Now to select the grind size. When making espresso, we recommend 15 as a starting point and moving the grind size collar between coarser and finer to adjust the flow of espresso as required. This should be done in conjunction with the dose amount. Oh, and if in future you notice the grind size collar feeling a little tight, run the grinder by pressing the start cancel button while simultaneously turning the grind size collar. This releases caught coffee grounds from between the burrs. To begin grinding, press the start cancel button or you can also push the porta filter in. After a few seconds, hit the start cancel button again so that you can settle and collapse the coffee in the porta filter. The start cancel button will slowly flash while paused. To continue with the remaining grind time, press the start cancel button. Or to cancel grinding, press and hold the start cancel button for one second. Mmm, nothing beats the smell of freshly ground coffee. Once grinding is finished, remove the porta filter from the cradle and tamp your shot. If you happen to have too much grind in your porta filter after it has been tamped, you will find the adjustable razor precision trimming tool at the base of the machine. Simply adjust it like this and trim your porta filter to the correct dose. That's it, you're all set to brew that delicious cup of espresso. Another feature of the Dose Control Pro is that you can grind into a grind container or coffee filter. To do so, remove the cradle by sliding it out from under the grind outlet. Slide in your coffee filter or grind container with the cap open directly under the grind outlet. Select the amount of ground coffee you desire by rotating the grind time dial. Next, rotate the grind size collar until it reaches your required brewing mode range. Then hit start to begin grinding. Once you're finished, You'll be happy to know that the grinder will automatically enter power-saving sleep mode after five minutes of no use. And to wake it up, just press the Start Cancel button. Now, let's check out the percolator function and how you can achieve a quality cup using your Dose Control Pro. First off, remove the portafilter cradle to insert your grinds container. Once your container is set in position, Rotate the grind time dial to select how much ground coffee you need. By increasing the time, you'll increase the dose and vice versa. Next, rotate the grind size collar to adjust the grind size for your desired dose. The grind size recommendation is medium for percolator coffee and ranges from 26 to 34. Now hit the start button and get grinding. Once completed, you're all ready to make your morning cup of coffee. Next, let's explore the drip filter function to kickstart your day with a quality cup of coffee. First off, remove the porta filter cradle to insert your grind container. Once your container is set in position, rotate the grind time dial to select how much ground coffee you need. By increasing the time, you'll increase the dose and vice versa. Next, rotate the grind size collar to adjust the grind size for your desired dose. The grind size recommendation is medium coarse for drip coffee and ranges from 35 to 45. Now hit the start button and get grinding. Once grinding is finished, it's time to make that perfect cup of drip coffee. To master the plunger, we recommend you heat water using a temperature kettle to 93 degrees Celsius, which is the ideal temperature for brewing coffee. The recommended grind size setting is 50 for plunger and ranges from 46 to 55. Select the grind amount for the number of cups you're brewing. Now hit the start button and get grinding. Once completed, pour your ground coffee into the plunger. 
Fill the plunger with the heated water and pour using a swirling manner. This ensures the ground coffee is evenly soaked. The bloom should reach the top of the plunger vessel. Don't add the plunger just yet. Set your timer for four minutes. Next, break the crust of the bloomed coffee using a spoon. Insert the plunger and slowly press it down to avoid spillage. If you notice resistance, pull the plunger up slightly and press down again. There you have it, too easy. And now a delicious cup of plunger coffee awaits you. Go on, grab your cup.